And recording. Happy Saturday, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. I am so excited for just hearing everybody's stories. I never get tired of hearing the breakthroughs and the wins. My husband and I did a one-on-one on Wednesday, and he said that was his breakthrough. He can't share this morning, unfortunately, but one of his breakthroughs, because he was very skeptical of Young Living. When I brought that starter kit home, he called them wizard tears. He was like, whatever makes you happy, honey. But like, I don't know what you're spending your money on. But what happened was I started having one-on-ones in my home. And week after week after week, we would have these classes and people that got their kits would come back. And he would be in the other room, kind of like eavesdropping, even though I didn't know he was doing that at the time. And then about three months into my sharing journey, he one day said to me, he's like, you just couldn't even make these testimonies up that these people are coming and sharing in the living room. Like that for him was the breakthrough was just hearing everybody's wins. And so these calls are so important because it's like, you can't make this stuff up when you feel people's hearts. You just know, like, you know, truth when you hear it. So I love these calls. I'm so pumped for today. And I'm going to share with you guys first. It's so interesting. I've been in this journey for four and a half years. So when you ask me like what my biggest breakthrough is, it's like, where do you even start? (laughs) There has been so many breakthroughs on this journey, like product community at events. Like it's, it's crazy to think like the person I was four and a half years ago when I got started compared to the person that I am now has just been breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough. And so I had to really think about what I wanted to share with you guys today and looking at what everyone else was speaking on too. um, For me, the biggest thing recently that has hit me was we are renovating my home. And so I have been going through a lot of stuff. We've been getting rid of a lot of stuff. And I found this box with all of my journals since I very first started with Young Living. And it makes me a little emotional, you guys, but (laughs) I was looking through at the goals when I very first started compared to over the years, how my goals have evolved and changed and realizing that I've accomplished every single thing that I have written out in the last four and a half years has been the most powerful and biggest breakthrough that I've had recently was truly just understanding how powerful we are when we set an intention to something and how goal setting works. (laughs) I used to never really goal set before young living. I kind of thought like whatever about it. I didn't really fully understand it. But knowing now that when we write something down on paper, we're actually 45% more likely to achieve it. And looking back over the goals over the last four years and just seeing how true that is, it's like realizing how powerful we truly are when we set our intention to something and we go for it with every single thing that we have. And what a gift that that little box of oils I got four and a half years ago that Lisa Blackstock shared with me, even though my butt was so stubborn back then, you guys, I was like, no, for seven months (laughs) before I got started. But that little box of oils led me to being somebody who like sets goals and crushes them. And like realizing that I have that potential and it all started with saying yes to this opportunity. So for me, the biggest breakthrough is just honestly, the growth in myself and learning that I can accomplish the things that I set my heart and my mind to and just watching you guys all crush those goals as well has just been so so powerful so for me it's just realizing to be intentional with our life that's been my biggest breakthrough is is get intentional and maybe you're on this call today and maybe you're brand new or you're watching the replay and you're like I'm not even in this business and it's like my takeaway for you today is that it doesn't need to be in young living business Set goals for your health, set goals for your relationships, set goals for your faith, set goals and get intentional and get crystal clear because one day you're going to look back and you're going to go, oh my gosh, I did it. I did that. So, and that is like the best feeling ever, you guys. So that is my little takeaway for you. That's been my biggest breakthrough. I could talk about breakthroughs. I could just take this whole call over, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pass it along because we have some seriously incredible stories for you guys today. So again, thanks for being here. We're going to pass it over. Hi, everybody. My name is Jen Burton, and I am a gold 
brand partner with Young Living. And I have been doing this now for about three and a half years. And I, my biggest breakthroughs have definitely been on more of the business front than it has on the products front. Um, don't get me wrong, the products work. That's why I talk about them. And they work so fantastic. Um, my biggest breakthrough with the products have probably been just emotional um, support. And now I'm just a little bit more passionate about helping others with the business opportunity. So kind of touching on some of the stuff that Gloria had mentioned, um, vision work has been so, so incredible, especially in the last, like, honestly, in the last five days. <laughs> this is stuff that um, that we have been taught and I have been somewhat consistent in doing in the past, but I haven't actually been intentional with doing it every single day. I'm not going to lie. Is there anybody in here that kind of, you know, the things, right. But you're not doing them every single day, right? This goes for anything. We know how to get our fitness in check. We know that if you exercise and eat good every single day, that that'll kind of align, right? We know that if we read every single day, we'll start to learn things and new skills, but it's just that like intent to do it and actually do the work that you need to get the results that you want. So definitely consistency in doing anything, especially right now, there's a lot of us doing the 75 hard program. Give us a hands up if you're doing it. Um, it has nothing to do with Young Living, you guys. This is not my program. It is a program that just I came across. I've been listening to a podcast for about three years now, and it's a program that will help you with your mental toughness. So for me, I was somebody um, growing up. I didn't really have a bunch of confidence in myself, belief in myself, any of that kind of stuff. I was bullied throughout school. Um, but for me, having that shift where I'm actually intentional with what I'm doing every single day. Now, my confidence level has definitely increased tremendously. And because I'm being intentional with the things that I know will be income producing in my business, I'm having crazy breakthroughs, especially in the last few days. So there was a podcast that I was listening to just recently. Um, this is slightly off topic, but I think that it's relevant as well. Um, I shared this with Lisa and Glow, and this was my major breakthrough within the last few days for sure, was with the program that we're doing right now, it's introduced a lot more um, intentionality with my business. So one of the things is um, to have a critical power list and you have three tasks that you have to do every single day. So you write them off, you scratch them off. And I've been making mine intentional about growing my young living business because that's where I'm wanting to focus all my efforts. No joke guys, within three days of doing this, three days, I have had so much, so many more conversations online with people that I have been nurturing um, with just relationships on Instagram and all that kind of stuff, not even bringing up Young Living at all. They're actually reaching out to me now and asking about stuff. And I've had a video in the last like two days, a reel that has gone from, I think it was like 1200 views not long ago. It literally is almost at 200,000 views right now. So it is, has nothing to do with Young Living, but I have something right now that's going viral that has funneled hundreds of people onto my page, onto my friend list. I've had, I think, 450 new friends on Instagram in the last few days. So I don't equip this to anything else than just showing up every single day intentionally and having that compound effect actually show up and be visible. And just to get a little bit woo woo with you guys too, I remember thinking about all this vision work and like, dream casting and all that kind of stuff as like okay maybe that worked for you and that's cool but like I don't really believe in that but Glow and I for sure in the last six days um 10 minutes of <laughs> vision work um visualization a day it actually I look forward to it so much because it's like a video game in my mind like I'm walking myself through my perfect day. So I wake up in this bed and I look over and the lake is there and like all that kind of stuff, right? Just like walking yourself through it like a video game for 10 minutes. When the timer goes off, I'm literally like, I haven't even got to the good part yet. Like I'm not even at my yoga class. I've just like made 
breakfast, like, and then I'm excited to do it next day and literally just like breakthrough after breakthrough in the last few days. And then I was saying to earlier and I got distracted, but I listened to a podcast just a few days ago. And I think this has made a big impact as well is um, it was an Ed Milet podcast and it was him interviewing this girl who has sold her makeup company to L'Oreal for like millions of dollars. She's been in Forbes magazine and all this kind of stuff. She's super, super successful. And the takeaway from her that I implot, like implemented into my daily is she said she went seven full years going full out, full tilt with this um, makeup company that she started. And she said she actually made like zero dollars the first seven years, you guys. So when we start the Young Living business, you can just see that like most of us get a pretty good return on investment from that $200 starter kit right out of the gate, right? If you sell one starter kit, I mean, you're getting 6750. That's a huge return when you're looking at like the big picture, right? Anyways, what I'm getting at is this girl actually said that she got to a point with her faith that she had a moment with her creator and she, that was God for her. And she said, um, she said a prayer the one night and she's like, God, I'm starting to really doubt this for me. And I don't know if this is actually my journey I'm supposed to be on. Can you please send me some sort of a sign so that you can prove me wrong? Because right now I'm just having all these doubts and all that kind of stuff, right? So she just had a moment with who, her beings, right? Like, so whatever you believe in, God, creation, universe, whatever. I mean, maybe it's time to sit down and have a conversation and just ask for them to prove you wrong. And literally the next morning is when my Instagram reel has now gone viral and the last three days has been crazy with growth on online. So hopefully that resonated with you a little bit and maybe that's something that you need to sit down and actually get intentional with. But definitely if you can take anything away from this, the three critical tasks every single day, writing them down, like examples being... Um, direct message and follow 20 new people on Instagram, not talking about Young Living at all, um, watching an Instagram training on Reels, right? Like I didn't learn all this stuff by asking people in this group. I went to YouTube, I went to Google and I looked up these things so that I can bring that into my business, right? And just being intentional with growth online because that's kind of the space that we're in right now forced by global issues. So. Hopefully that was somewhat valuable. I'll stop talking now and pass the torch. <laughs> Hi, I'm Teresa. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Um, I started Young Living about a year ago, um, mainly because I was getting ready to have to make a move away from my hometown. And so I went to um, a friend of mine who was doing it, for, has been doing it for a while, and started with one oil. Um, but my major breakthrough came through when, uh, last October when we did the niche challenge, adding the frankincense into it. And I was, um, I had dealt with, um, post-menopause symptoms so bad to where even the doctor, I had gone and done bioidenticals. They did not work. I went back to her and she says, you've got to give it like three months. And I'm like, I don't have three months to wait. So, um, I started taking um, over-the-counter supplements, and those worked for me. Um, saw results, you know, right away. But when uh, I got into Young Living, I started drinking the Ningxia um, back in May, and then they did the challenge, and with the frankincense. So I started that, and I, my goal was to be off any other over-the-counter supplements. My goal was to go strictly all with Young Living with the Ningxia for all my nutrients that I needed and to see what the Frank would do for me. I started out with two drops a day that they recommended. I ended up upping it to four drops, but within the first week, I stopped taking all those other supplements. And, and still to this day, I still am not back on any of those supplements. Um, I am still doing three to four drops of Nisha, or um, frankincense in my Nisha, mainly just for my anxieties. I've always been just such a high strung person um, that every little thing would get to me. Um, the OCD would kick in and now I, I think I'm a little bit more livable with my husband. <laughs> so, so that was my major breakthrough. But 
as time went on, then I just, um, and I wasn't doing the business at the time. And I, I just started recently doing the business just because I was seeing the benefits and how generous the company is to give back. And I was starting to see money build up in credit accounts, build up in my um, account credits, you know, online. And so I had to ask my daughter, what is this? I'm not doing the business. And she's like, no, but you get this anyway. And so it kind of made me think twice about, I need something new to do now that I'm in a completely new town. Um, that, you know, I ended up moving away from two granddaughters, my daughter, um, which they are my sidekicks. So it's, it's been a hard year, but getting to do this business has kept me in contact with her a little bit more and some friends back home also. So that's been my biggest takeaway so far. Oh, thank you so much, Teresa, for sharing. That was so awesome. I'm sad. I'm ha we're having a grandbaby coming too, and I just don't ever want to be taken away from her. But you know what? You just gave me hope that <laughs> there's still Zoom no matter what. Okay, my name is Crystal. Um, I'm just going to share a little bit of a background because it leads into my breakthrough. So before Young Living, um, our family was on a plethora of different medications and stuff like that. Um, we ended up having, oh, sorry, I might cry. Um, my daughter ended up attempting suicide with the pills that we brought into our home. So that sent me on a trail of trying to do better for my family. My friend Judy came along and she introduced me to the Thieves Household Cleaner. Because um, what I was learning is that there are a lot of toxins and all the damage that they do to our bodies and that they cause hormone imbalances. There's another story about that too, but that's for another day. Um, so I started using the Thieves Cleaner and my one child ended up getting off of her anxiety meds, like or not her anxiety meds, sorry, her allergy pills, which she needed to take for taking her other medications. So just realizing that getting rid of the toxins out of our home took away the the things that were hurting my family and they, we were we've been since able to get off of like all of our medications we're all on different things for different things um but it all had toxic fillers in them that the pharmacist told us were uh hurting us so i was like okay this is just too real and too scary for me so that was our big breakthrough moment and cleaner was <laughs> getting all the toxins out of our home and then i also had another huge breakthrough when it comes to the community and what the community has has given me um so it gave me worth like self-worth i didn't value myself before i had a, a portrait studio that i built from the ground up beautiful, beautiful studio. And I didn't value myself enough at this point after all that stuff went on. I couldn't, I couldn't accept the abundance that was coming. So I ended up cleaning houses and putting a limit on my life. So after I realized that, um, I got more into Young Living, like my friend Judy just kept pulling me in, talking to me about all these classes and stuff like that. And, and just helping me learn to be better and do better. So now, <laughs> actually another breakthrough I had is I started being I let go of the fear of judgment from people and I started posting a lot on social media that was a huge big breakthrough so I understand there are four pillars of health we have to eat properly we have to exercise every day we have to take care of our emotional well-being so I'm finding ways every day to fill my cup that is um, exercising every day I started the 100 day challenge thanks to Christy Mickelson I think she's going to be talking today bless your sweet soul Christy you got Dana involved and Dana got me involved and it's just been a huge trickle event. So in the business, I'm getting so many people reaching out to me, like people from my past that I always thought was like, oh, they don't like me, so it doesn't matter, right? So now they're all reaching out to me and they're like, wow, like, thank you so much for sharing. What you're doing is so empowering. And so my vision of what I want out of Young Living has completely changed. I want to just empower people. I want to do what I'm doing now and I want to do it every single day. <laughs> it's really hard because I still have my studio, but I can't even, I can't even help it. I just love it so much. So I don't know where I'm at for time, but that are my big breakthroughs that I'm so grateful for. Hi. Yeah, that was super, super empowering. Always such a great story from you. Um, I also had lots of great um, takeaways from the community. I never expected that. Um, I have had a young living starter kit before and it stopped there. So I just want to stress that it's this community of young living that is truly 
empowering because I like I said I had one before and nothing came from it so I just want to stress that this community is also done so much for me because this year has been a hard one I had a baby at the beginning of all this craziness in the world and that's super isolating being a new mom in those times I also moved cities away from my family away from my hometown that I lived in my whole life so that was a huge thing and I made excuses for the business part I was like I want to do it I want to do it but I made so many excuses for it um, and it wasn't until the beginning of this year when Lisa had a couple book challenges and I did those. I broke out of my comfort zone, which was a huge win for me because I also took the judgment of others and thought, uh -huh, I don't want to do this. Just too worried. But it has given me um, a reason to go on. That's not just being a mom in those isolating days. It gives me other things to do and focus on and feel good about. And I definitely, my self-worth has grown so much and I've had a lot of struggles this year, but tuning into those books for personally has helped me through a lot of um, down moments. And another big thing too is um, the products for me. I, for a long time, I struggled with, um, chronic um, lady issues and I was on antibiotics back to back the doctors would just just throw the antibiotics at me and they'd help and as soon as I go off of them everything was back to normal and just not good and they just gave me so many antibiotics that I got like brush in the mouth and I was just I was done because it wasn't helping and it was so hard and then I took it upon myself to learn and figure out what was really going on with me. And I tried a few products from Young Living and I figured out my wins. I always used, tried so many different probiotics, but the Young Living Life 9 probiotic was a game changer for me. And I stress that to everybody, like, no, you need this one. And that paired with the Progressions Plus and the Endoflex every single day, um, those three together, I don't have any of those symptoms anymore. And it took me just being in touch with my body and knowing the products. And another thing was the community. You reach out and you ask if anybody else has been going through these things and you have so many people there saying yes this do this try this try that without the community I probably would not have found those solutions for myself and that's a huge huge win for me um, because I don't have that constant every single day struggle that I was going through for probably three years so that is my major breakthrough as long as well as learning my self-worth and just absorbing the community feel and just watching all of your guys's journeys has also empowered me to be like hey I can do that I can carry on I can do that and I want to do that and I'm going to do that so all those things are just just the surface of why I love Young Living and the community but I will leave it at that and pass it on for today. Awesome. Thanks, Lonnie. Oh my gosh, you guys, everybody is like, it's all community all the time around here. And that's my love and where my passion is with Young Living. Um, when I first started, so I've sort of been stuck the last couple of years and I really had to start really digging deep. Um, in the last couple of months, I've really been working on it. So I think with Young Living, when you feel stuck, there's something personal that's wrong, like, right? You got to grow personally. And so you got to dig into the personal development. And so that's where I was sort of like, I knew I needed to do it. It was just doing it. So a couple of the things was I had some limiting beliefs that I really needed to break through. And one was like growing up, I had this belief because I've always, and I don't want to use this, but I've, I've used this as an excuse, but I've always struggled with my weight. 
right? And so I know lots of us can relate to this. And so we leave that as the, the story that we're creating for ourselves throughout our whole life. And so I just kept on going back to that, like, oh, I've already, you know, I just, I struggle with it all the time. Um, and so that was, that was tough for me. So I had to break through that. I had to stop that story and I had to create something else. And I had to go with my strengths and what I knew, and I had to put some action towards it. So one of the things was after Christmas and yeah, I got Crystal going with it too. And then Jen got me going on the 75 day hard, but yeah, just putting some action into it and digging into your strengths for that and stop that story, that reel that has been playing in your mind over and over and over again, because that's not you. And so I had to look at that part. And then I also had to look at, with social media, there's so much comparison. We all know that. And we all know that we all sort of deal with that, right? But the comparison game is, like when I looked at it, I just started to look at, you know what, I'm comparing, my, I'm comparing myself to these people, but these people are comparing themselves to other people. And I think I'm being judged, but guess what? That person that I think is judging me, they think someone else is judging them. So we all just need to stop doing that and really just sort of dig deep and see what's inside yourself, right? And really look at those strengths. So that's sort of where I have been really turning, um, flipping my mind, doing lots of personal development, uh, Again, Lisa got us, you know, reading some books. So I've been reading um, Everything's Figure Outable and just sort of really doing that. Um, I wanted to touch on a couple other things. Um, one was like with the um, limiting beliefs, it's like all these lies that we're telling ourselves all the time, right? So with Young Living, like part of the business end of it was like, I was telling myself, like, I don't have the it factor. I'm not the healthy person that, um, people are looking for to buy health products from. That's a bunch of crock. Like I have, you know, like I can, how, why, because now I'm putting, I, I feel stronger now because I'm putting my words into action and I'm getting healthy for myself. But when before, when I was doing it, um, I was struggling with it because I had this part of me that was like, I've done, I've tried it too many times and I failed too many times, right? So how can I, how can I get through this? Like it's so, you just gotta let go of those and just sort of dig deep and find out what you need for yourself down deep, right? So those were, you know, I've had some major breakthroughs in the last couple of months. And now I'm so excited to just put those actions into the business end of it and really believing in myself and showing those strengths in myself, right? One of the things I wanted to show to everybody is, um, I, I did it a while ago, but, I just wanted to show how powerful it is. So I wrote out a list, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have, of 100 people or more that I, I went through and I wasn't just, I was intentional with like, I can change those people's lives somehow, either health-wise, financially-wise, if they need community, their mindset, somehow I can help those people. And so that's my list. And that's what I'm digging into in the next couple of months is really looking like, how can I help those people? Because that's powerful. Like, you know, people need this stuff. They need us and they need this community. This community is something else. And I don't, um, like everybody on here today has talked about it. Every single one of us, we all need it. And it's, you know, it's the personal development, the growth and all that. So yeah, that's, that's my breakthrough. <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. Um, my name's Raylan, for those of you that don't know me, and I'm going to speak about breakthroughs with the business and the community, because like she just said, everyone has spoke about the community on this call. Gloria has been a huge blessing on my life, and for example, she is pushing me outside of my comfort zone, messaging me last night, being like, hey, you're talking on tomorrow's call, and I'm like, okay, great. So, uh, when we step into a community that has such deep belief in us, that sees us as our brightest, as our most powerful selves, it allows our limiting beliefs to shift. It allows us to step deeper into our personal development. And when we surround ourselves with people who want to rise and who are doing better for themselves, it encourages us and inspires us to do better for ourselves. So that is what I have found to be a huge impact on my life with this community. Um, a little bit of my backstory is I'm kind of a unicorn where 
personal development and self-love and deep energetic healing was a part of my journey before Young Living and then Young Living entered into my life. So I am on the other side of this where I love seeing that each and every one of the women, especially like even the women on this call have all shared how much growth and how much healing has come from investing into a little tiny oil box. And the community itself, like having those people that surround you believe in themselves so deeply and believe in each other so deeply. And that ripple effect just allows us all to grow and expand. Um, and that comes into the business. So I was using the products for about seven months before I chose to step into the opportunity. And the business itself has created so much space for me to do what really lights my soul up. Like, and that is empowering women. That is in creating healing opportunities for us to live our best lives and to see that be a huge part of Young Living's community. And I'm on the same journey where it's this specific journey. I have been involved in many different communities and this Young Living community has such empowerment in each and every person who chooses to step into it, who invests in themselves. As soon as you say yes, you are welcomed into a family. You are welcomed into a space where vulnerability and courage are um, your superpower. Jen just said it, like it's not about being confident. It's about having the courage to just take one step at a time, one baby step at a time. So the business for me impacted my life greatly. I stepped into it last January. And when our crazy world went on lockdown, for me, my biggest breakthrough was my partner got laid off. Um, and with everything going on, I received my first bigger Young Living paycheck and it was $358.72. And I was able to go buy groceries for our family. And that there showed me the power of sharing showing that when we come from an authentic space and we're of service, to others, like you said, where we're of service and we see that we are impacting other people's lives and we come from a space of education and just seeing the good that comes from this lifestyle, this community, this family, that we are all able to be abundant and we're all able to rise up and create that life and really bring it all back around. It's all about like the vision and the life you desire and creating. And when you're able to see that within other people you can see that within yourself and it's a gift to be able to give that to the people that you choose to share this opportunity with and it's creating space for them to step into their abundance and their own empowerment within themselves so um each and every one of you i've cried a few times on this call i saw gloria say like it's so emotional but just knowing that that is what you're creating for yourself and that ripples out to the people that you love and care about in the community, in the business, in your family. It is so amazing to see each and every one of us rise into that diamond space. And I think that the beautiful Jessie is next. Yes, hello everybody. And Raylan, thank you so much for sharing all that about like the ripple effect of the community and just how much it pours into everything because that's exactly what I wanted to talk about. So again, my name is Jessie. If I've never had the privilege of meeting you before, it's so nice to see all your guys' faces this morning and seeing all these tears and movements. And I think it's just so beautiful that this is such a safe space for us to be able to share. So to kind of give a little backstory, I think really leads into my story. So going back back a couple of years ago, I was on a basketball team and this might sound so irrelevant. So just stay with me for a moment, but I was playing on this team and I had always been the captain leader, loved you know bringing my team together. That was my thing. And as time went on, that path just turned, turned out it wasn't the path for me. Some things that happened, I had to step away. And so, having that community base my whole life and then having that kind of ripped away from me, I was really at a place where I didn't really know where to go from there. I was in school, I was pursuing my career as a social worker and I noticed that I was really just missing that connection of team and community and didn't really know where it was gonna come from. And so I've been with Young Living for five short but amazing months. And during that time, I've got to meet even just some of these beautiful people behind me that have changed my life sincerely. And so going back about five months ago in October, my breakthrough event was literally before I joined the community. 
it was the first event that I had gone to that I remember showing up that day feeling really shy you know I didn't know what to wear I was thinking about all these things worried what people were going to think of me am I going to fit in all these thoughts that were just always going through my mind and I remember from the moment that I showed up instantly the smiles of the girls they're just welcoming like oh my gosh thank you so much for coming this is I'm so happy to have you here and we went throughout the day and we were learning about women's health and I just felt so empowered which is ironic because the event was called empower you and I definitely left that day feeling so empowered and saying you know I'm tired of being so hard on myself I'm tired of when the music comes on I gotta all of a sudden go to the bathroom because there's no way that I'm dancing in front of these people just feeling really icky about myself and I left that day with my mom and I know my mom had similar feelings and we both just said, you know, we don't want to feel like this anymore. You know, I'm tired of being on the back burner, not putting myself first, not investing in myself or my help. And so to continue on till now, my biggest ba breakthrough for me is just the community and how wholeheartedly each and every one of you, these people behind me, everyone we meet just accepts you for who you are, where you're at, and what you've been through, as well as where you're going. So I can wholeheartedly say now that if you asked me to speak in front of this group and share a breakthrough a couple months ago, I probably would have cried, would have ran away, would have told you in the morning that I'm sick, I can't do it, all the excuses. So for me, it's just that constant love and support and acceptance of you can do this, you are worthy of doing this. And I was seeing everybody else get emotional and I didn't think that I would because I think that I can that I can block those things but I'm just so grateful for all of you guys in this community and yet alone the products of how much they've supported me and my health you know I'm not taking medication anymore for digestive issues I was on about four different pills getting MRIs getting x-rays getting all these things to figure out what was wrong with me but nobody just accepted me for who I was and said you know maybe it's just it's something that you can change yourself and to give me the tools to do that for myself so oh I'm so happy I have these ladies here behind me I just want to go <laughs> hug them all but I'm just so happy to be here with all you guys and I can't wait to continue this journey and share this with other people like Ray Lynn said give them the tools and the power that if my life was changed, think of all the lives that we can change. And that's where I come from when, when I do these calls. So thank you, Glow, for asking me to speak. This was something that I was really, really nervous about, but I'm really glad that I did. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. I'm Lisa Blackstock. Hi. Um, this call, right? This call, I just feel like my voice is like wavering and cracky because I feel so emotional about all of this. And if I can go back to seven years ago when I first started and I got my starter kit and had no idea what I was stepping into or what was possible and feeling like I didn't even know I was alone or that, it, you know, I'd been a part of other network marketing companies and never felt this. So I never knew that this was even possible. So sitting here seven years later and just seeing how emotional everybody is about the community, it's so powerful. Um, but what I can say is breakthrough wise for me, was consistency and just like realizing that consistency and using the products how that will shift your life from your completely broken like your life might be falling apart or your health you might even not know how bad your health is until it starts to get better and then breakthrough after breakthrough like sharing with those first few people and seeing their lights like the, their eyes light up and just realizing like i can make a difference and that breakthrough of like the dreams that you thought you didn't even have anymore because when you're a kid and you had these big dreams of what you were going to become and what you're going to do in your life and then just life takes over and just being able to dream again and then the fact of like coming from super shy and not wanting to like make small talk with people making all the excuses in the world like i'm not good enough i i'm not that kind of person i don't want to be salesy all these excuses to completely like just taking the action and seeing the success and then growing your confidence, like breakthrough after breakthrough, and then going to an event and seeing like world changers up on the stage and they're every walk of life and walking away from that event going, you know what, why not me? Why not me? And so then I quit my job two days later after that event. So that event grew so much belief in me that I was like, okay, I need to get all my people to events because I need them to speak belief into my people. And then realizing that it isn't the other people, it can be me that I speak life into other people. So that was a breakthrough, like coming back and being like, it doesn't have to be 
these grandiose, you know, from other network marketing companies that it is me. It is the person who was at star, who is speaking to a brand new person that is like, you have the belief in you that you can give that to other people. So, so many breakthroughs, but honestly, it is the community. And I feel like we just have this vibration and this great thing going because of the products. But if we just pour people into this community, they're going to have their own breakthroughs. And it's going to be such a beautiful journey for each and every person that comes and walks in the store. And I am so, so grateful that we have this place for everybody to grow into the best possible version of themselves and see the vision for themselves. Because without me, like being here with all of you, I feel like it's just, it would be a lonely journey, right? Like, so um, I'm so open to even more breakthroughs. And I just feel like after this year, if I wouldn't have become the person that I have become in, these, in this process, it would have been a lot harder of a year. It would have been so much harder. So the person I have become has got to have been the biggest piece of the puzzle to bringing so much more back for my family, for my team, and just constantly growing and never like seeing the end of it, just like seeing possibilities and excitement. And I'm so excited for even more breakthroughs. Um, but I am so grateful for each and every one of you who are here with us. This has literally been the best time of my life is just saying yes to that starter kit, saying yes to every opportunity and saying yes to things that seriously scare the crap out of me. Um, but yeah, I'm just like so, so grateful and honored and um, your guys' stories are just amazing, but thank you so much, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys had me crying that whole call. <laughs> that is why getting together like once a week, whether it's this call or Adam's call, but just seeing all your guys' faces, staying in this energy and hearing what we have and what we have to offer and, and how it is impacting so many lives in so many different ways. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's been said by every other person, but it is the community. It's like, that's, that's the gift. So if you're brand new and you just got your kit, you've already won the lottery of life. <laughs> You've already won. Everything else is sprinkles on the cupcake, you guys. How amazing is that? Just to feel that that big hug, right? Does everyone feel the hug right now? It's like you can't help but feel lifted after one of these, right? <laughs> the energy is just like, you can feel it through the screen. So, so grateful to every one of you guys who shared your hearts today and just got vulnerable and shared your story. We appreciate you so, so much. And every single person who spent their Saturday with us, we appreciate you as well, right? The products speak for themselves, right? We all know that. We're all here because we know the products are freaking amazing, right? So that's that. <laughs> You guys have a beautiful rest of your weekend. Hopefully it is sunny where you are like it is here. We love you all. Go share the love forward. Okay, go pay the love forward. Okay, bye everybody.